Well, you ultimately beat them, uh, beat the Celtics. You guys go to the finals, and you end up losing to the to the Lakers in five games. Yeah. How did it feel to finally make it to the finals and and not win? It was well to make it there. It was I was like, like a kid. It, like I said, certain there's certain things that happens in a human being's life that are that are make whatever you've done up until that point flash before you, right? So like I told you, me being drafted, so all the times I was playing and to all to that, that just flashed before you. So when I got to the finals, I'm thinking, I was like a kid in the kids. So I'm like, man, I used to dream about this on the park. I used to, I used to be by myself, count down five, four, three, two, one. I like I hit the game winning the finals. You know, I, I used to always pretend I was Isaiah Thomas and I was winning the finals and people were picking me up, you know, like they did Isaiah in, in 1990, 89 and 90. So I'm like, wow, man, I finally is here. And I'm a starter. And I'm starting in the finals. So uh, in, uh, we ended up running up against one of the greatest players to ever put on a pair of basketball shoes and play basketball in Kobe Bryant. Uh, and obviously today, let's say happy birthday. Today is Kobe Bryant's birthday. Uh, so while we're doing this interview on the day of his birthday, we say happy birthday to Kobe Bryant. Uh, he was just phenomenal, man. No matter what defense we decide to put out there on him, no matter who, two and three guys, he, it's just his will to win and to win the championship and to get it done against all circumstances, any defense was like any other. Um, and not to mention, they had so much length. In that year, people underestimated their length. You know, they had Kobe at six, seven. I think the smallest guy in the lineup was Derek Fisher at six, three. But Kobe's at 6'7", the next guy, Reese is at 6'8", Lamar's at 6'9", 6'10", and Pau Gasol is at 7 foot 1 or whatever it was. So people unless, underestimated how lengthy, how tall, you know, they were. Um, it was fun. It was, it was one of the greatest times of the being the finals, man. The whole world's watching, not just our country, but all the countries are watching the finals. Um, they kick our butt first two. Well, actually, we should have won one of the first two games. Cody Lee missed the layup at the buzzer to win. We'd have won that game. It, it's certain, if you win one of them games at LA, it changed the dynamics of the series, All right? We go to game three and Coach Van Gundy brings me in his office in early in the morning um, and asks me how am I feeling, how's my mind set, you know, and, and he just told me to go play my game. And then I ended up having 20 points in game three and uh, Everyone's going crazy in Orlando. My phone's blowing up. All the right, everybody from New York City's calling my phone, like you know, like man, you killing them. You can. And that was the only game we won. That was the only game we won. They beat us four games to one. Uh, they kicked. They kicked out behind. Well, you were primarily a starter, but then in the finals, uh, Stan Van Gundy actually replaced you with Jameer Nelson. No, 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 I started every game. What he did, what Coach did was. He, uh, my minutes, he brought my minutes down. So I was pretty much playing on an average in the playoffs and, uh, up until that point, 30, 31 minutes a night, 32, give or take 32 minutes a night. And what Coach Van Gundy did, he brought my minutes down. Uh, because, but he told us, he, he one thing about Coach, man, it, it, people, a lot, I get this everywhere when they talk about the finals that, man, why Coach, dude? I said, put yourself in Coach's shoes and see how easy it would be for you that your all star point guard is coming back as healthy. How, what would you do? How would you how would you handle it? And coach did the best he could. And for us as Jameer's teammates, huh, we wanted to see him come back. You know, because you don't get a chance to play in the finals. This is not every year. You know, you don't get a chance to play in the finals. This is not the Boston Celtics when they had Kuzi and you know, a guy that it was only seventeen. Yeah, you could count them in the finals. Just who's gonna be the other team? No, this is you. You might not get here again. In which they never got back, or we never got back. I never got back. Jameer never got back to the finals again. So, but we wanted to see him play. And, and, and th that was the beauty of that team and that coach and that organization is that, that we really cared for each other. And, and we didn't think about the rhythm it was going to break up. We didn't think about, okay, now the rhythm. We didn't care about that, man. We wanted everybody to get a piece of this in finals and play and hopefully win a ring. And, and you know, we love Jameer um, till this day, man. We, if we had to do it again, we'd do it the same way. Put him, let him play some minutes, get him, get him out there. Because he deserved it. He was carrying that team before. The only reason they traded for him is because they didn't think he was going to make it back from his shoulder injury. But he actually, we ended up going far enough that he actually was, was, he was, he was ready to come back. So, you know, let him come back. The only thing I could say about that was, is I would have started him. So if I ever become a coach and I was ever to do that, that happened to me, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put my star, my all-star point guard back in his right 
position because I was already in a basketball rhythm the whole year and the whole playoffs. I would have started him and I could come off the bench because I'm already got, I already got a rhythm. I already, the ball feels like it felt when I was 11 years old. It's how it, that's how it felt then. It feels good to me. He had, Jameer would have had to, he has to find his basketball rhythm because he's been out for so long. So if I was coaching, if I would do it again, I'd be like, start him because he's just started. He's been, he was an all-star. He started the whole year. He's been starting since he came to sleep. Start him. You know, at that time, I was 33 years old. So it didn't make me a difference. <laughs> I just right. want to win. <laughs>